This video is for the retro tech minded. There is still a community of diehards out there who use VHS players or VCRs to record over the air TV programs. And believe it or not, from time to time, this is a question I get from viewers. How can I connect my VCR to my digital converter box to record over the air TV programs? Now that television signals are all digital, you cannot simply connect a VCR to your over the air TV antenna and record any signals. And the reason is, is that the tuner inside the VCR is an old analog NTSC tuner, which will no longer receive any over the air TV broadcasts. Instead, you have to use a digital converter box like this that will receive digital broadcasts and then convert them to an analog signal that your VCR will recognize and be able to record the programs onto a cassette with. The key to doing this is using these three colored jacks right here. These are known as RCA composite video jacks. They're very common on AV devices. And the main reason they're on here is to mate a digital source to an analog source. Now, for the most part, when people use a digital converter box, they connect their antenna here to the RF in, and then they simply use the HDMI out to connect the digital converter box, their TV, so they can retain the HD picture. Now, digital converter boxes came out at a time when there was an analog to digital, digital TV transition, and these jacks were necessary to be able to mate the digital converter box to older box style CRT televisions. Now that most people use the HD out though, these don't get used at all. But if you want to connect these to an older TV, or in this case, a VCR, this is what you use. The yellow jack is for the video signal and the red and white are for the right and left audio channels. The connections start here at the digital converter box. First, you wanna have your coaxial cable running from your antenna plugged into the RF in to give you your over the air signal. And then you're just gonna plug a set of RCA cables into those three composite jacks, match up the colors, yellow, red, and white. And the other end of this cable is gonna get plugged into your VCR into one of the input ports. And again, just match up the colors. That will send the video and audio signal from your digital converter box to the VCR so it can be recorded on tape. Now, if you have an older VCR that does not have a red plug, that means it's a mono VCR and only has a left audio channel, only the yellow and white plugs, then you just use those two. Don't use the red plug at all. Now, to view the digital converter box through your VCR on your TV, you're going to need to set up a second set of cables running from the output on the VCR into the input on the TV, and then just select AV as your input on your television, and you'll be able to view the digital converter box through your VCR on your television. It's probably best to set the video resolution to 480p since we're dealing with an analog signal at standard definition. Now we've got all the connections made, let's turn the VCR on. Right now it's on channel three, but that's the VCR's tuner. The tuner in the VCR is an NTSC analog tuner, so there's gonna be no picture because the digital converter box has the digital ATSC tuner that receives the signal from the antenna, and then it converts that signal to analog through the RCA cable to send it to the VCR. Go ahead and find the right input setting here. Line two, that's what we're using here. And there's the EPG from our digital converter box. Now we'll pop in a tape. Right now it's on EP record mode. If you recall, EP was the worst quality, but it gave you the most recording time on a tape. So we'll use that for nostalgia's sake. And with that, we can press record. Start recording.
All right, we got everything rewound here. And since I have another set of RCA cables connected from the output on the VCR to the input on my TV, we can actually watch what we recorded here. Let's press play. And here it is in blurry EP quality video. Thrift stores and secondhand shops are a rich source of brand new sealed VHS tapes, usually at rock bottom prices. Now, obviously, using a VCR to record programs is completely redundant today. Most digital converter boxes have a little USB PVR function on them that allows you to pop in a USB drive and press record, just like popping in a tape and pressing record on a VCR. But whether you're a diehard or you just want to feel nostalgic, it's still possible to connect your VCR to your digital converter box to record over-the-air TV programs, just like the old days.